the moment you've all been waiting for. This is going to be a crazy fight by Vic. Oh, he tagged him with the right hand. Trying to finish this fight. That's it. That's it. James Vic. Uppercut. Right hand. That's it. Justin Gaethje. Every fight he goes to war. Flyweight division. Say hello to your worst nightmare. There's the tap. Valentina Shev. This belt ain't going anywhere until I get down fighting. Oh! I want to be a legend. I want to be a great in this sport. Big shot! It's it! Tyron Woodley! Oh! oh Two a shot. shot by Olenek! And that is it! Alexei Olenek! Oh! Just like that! Mark Hunt by knockout! Teixeira is back! I'm not the most technical person, but I've hit hard. Oh! One punch knockout! Jimmy Manua! Live inside T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Fight capital of the world! I'm on fire! Oh! Uzdemir pushes Manua down, yeah. he's out! Vulcan Uzdemir does it again! Oh! Drops him with the elbow! Big kick from Lionheart! That's it! Anthony Smith! Ah, yes, the MMA leader has once again descended upon the city that never sleeps. Live inside Madison Square Garden in New York, New York. I'm not out there trying to win decisions or trying to outpoint guys. Oh! Poirier pouring it on! That'll do it! I'm headed to the top, and this is just part of my journey. You know, I feel untouchable. I don't give a f Everybody's getting in a cage and I find another human being. He tapped! He tapped! Better step it up for this one. He did! That is it! Middleweights, I'm the new dog in the yard. This. Oh, oh my God. Kim Sung Chung knocks out Dennis Bermudez. The Korean zombie back with a vengeance. Oh, you do not want to miss this, ladies and gentlemen. It's a hundred percent guarantee that I knock you out. season of the ultimate fighter 16 of the most talented fighters will battle it out for a six-figure ufc contract they'll be coached by two of the biggest superstars in the ufc today oh kelvin gastelum Welcome to the 25th anniversary UFC Fall Press Conference. Let's kick things off with our main event from Lincoln, Nebraska on August 25th. Justin the Highlight Gaethje faces James the Texecutioner Vic.
moving on to UFC 228, September 8th from Dallas, Texas. In the main event, the welterweight championship of the world is on the line as current king Tyron the Chosen One Woodley faces unbeaten UK Muay Thai specialist Darren the Gorilla Till. of UFC 228 is another title bout as top challenger Valentina Shevchenko faces 125 pound women's champion Nico Montano. Saturday, September 22nd, the Octagon returns to Sao Paulo, Brazil, as top light heavyweights square off when Jimmy Poster Boy Manoa locks up with Brazilian knockout artist Glover Teixeira. The October schedule wraps up with a stop in Moncton, Canada on October 27th as Swiss powerhouse Vulcan Uzdemir meets surging light heavyweight Anthony Lionheart Smith. UFC is back on pay-per-view November 3rd from Madison Square Garden. New York, New York plays host to a pivotal lightweight matchup as Dustin the Diamond Poirier meets up with Stockton's own Nate Diaz. Another big matchup, November 3rd, Madison Square Garden, unbeaten New Zealander Israel Adesanya faces top middleweight contender Derek Brunson. November 10th, the UFC celebrates their 25th anniversary show in Denver, Colorado. A firefight at welterweight serves as the co-main event of this UFC fight night when Donald Cowboy Cerrone locks up with platinum Mike Perry. What's up, L.A.? How are you? 
Thank you guys very much for coming out today. We appreciate it. Who has the first question? Dana, uh, just a quick obvious first question. Where's, where's Nate Diaz? Is he in the building? Yeah, he's here. He just got here. All right, fantastic. Well, we'll start with Dustin Poirier then, please. Dustin, uh, you know, we saw you not too long ago, and, and you say, listen, you know, I've, I've got a title shot, and uh, I'm going to sit around and wait for it until I get it, and now you're back fighting again the next week. So uh, get, walk us through this, man. How did, you, how did you come to this decision? You know, man, I'm a fighter. I feel good. Uh, I have no injuries. And Nate's a guy I've been watching a long time. I've been a fan of. If you're a fan of fighting, you're a fan of this fight. I've always wanted to fight at Madison Square Garden. I just wish we had a few extra rounds. Three rounds, you know, I wish it was a five, but I'm excited about this fight. You guys should be too. Thanks, Dustin. Uh, I wanted to ask Nico Montano, please. Nico, what, uh, what have the past eight months been like for you? It's, uh, you know, I've had people kind of questioning your character and talking about your toughness and whether you're willing to fight. And I mean, what's it been like for you during this time and, and what do you feel like now that you've got a fight book? What? <laughs> Um, it's been, you know, a rough road. I've had to bounce back from injuries and then illnesses, but it's kind of what life's all about, is seeing those uh, hardships and overcoming them, not letting fear overcome you. So I'm pretty excited that I finally have a fight set. And I'll go to Valentina if I could. I want to ask you, and a lot of people, I think, are kind of looking at this fight as a foregone conclusion, that you're the, that you're the champion in waiting. Do you see it that way? I mean, do you feel like this is just, you need to show up and you win, or do you feel like this is a challenge? You know, and all my career, for during 25 years, no one fight I was considered like easy fight. I'm not expecting easy fight. I'm not here for this one. I'm here for having real fight, good fight. And this is fight for the belt. And I will, be, I will be there in my 100% ready for the fight. I've been training so much years, and this is my time. This is it. And just a couple quick questions for Dana, if I could. A, a, a great collection of athletes up here, a lot of great fights, but you know the one everybody wants to hear about is, is Habib and Connor. So uh, is, is there another video package to roll out, or is there another? Well, obviously, they're not here. There's been a lot of talk and a lot of speculation. And, and uh, you know, I've said many times, that's the fight that needs to be made. So yeah. you have an update? I mean, are we, are we any closer? I'm sorry? Are we any closer? Do you have an update on how? Yeah, I, it's a fight I feel that will get done. Yeah. And just last one for you, Dana. Uh, we got a lot of main events, but we don't have the main event for Madison Square Garden yet. I mean, it's a fantastic we're card. Yeah, we're, we're still working on that. Yes. Card's great. And obviously, we're, we're, we're waiting for that perfect fight to slide right in as the headliner there. I was going to say, any when, when have we not delivered at Madison Square Garden? I mean, listen, we have the number one and number three all-time gate at Madison Square Garden. We will deliver. Uh, down here, Dana, or uh, Darren, um, you know, you've had a week to reflect on this now that you got this fight with Tyron. Um, tell me, you know, he's defended the belt so many times, he's beaten the best in the division. Why are you the guy to take the belt off him? So I'm the best welterweight in the division. Darren, got a response for that? Like, I mean, you, well, you're fighting in the Woodleyweight division. You're not the best in the division. You didn't even win your last fight against. Wonder Boy, and you didn't even make weight. So, with that said, I've consistently fought the top guys. I knocked out Robbie Lawler when he was the most vicious champion, a record breaking time. Every dog has its day. Everybody Every has, dog a day. has its day. But, but, and and guess your what? day is going to come guess September what? 8th. And guess Trust what? Me. And guess what? Trust I used me. to be the young lion. Trust I used to be the barking lion. And you're the old lion now, so let me do guess my what? work. And guess what? You're going to be done work on. <laughs> I don't need to be When they spread you up, I'll pat you on the back and say, okay, better we'll luck see. next we'll time. We'll see. Every you, just dog come there, day. you just come there and Every make way. Every dog has its day. You just make way. Okay, don't you worry about that. Is that your only concern? You need to come I, I have no, I have no concern. Cleaning your chin out. I, I have no concern. I have no we'll concern. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. We just had the stare down, Darren. What did you see when you kind of uh, looked in his eyes, sized them up, I guess, for the first time? I always tell the truth. No fear. He's, he's not scared. Nothing like that. You know, he, he's the champion. I like that. I'll That's make way. Don't you worry like about that. that. He's the champion, you know, respect is the champion, but that doesn't, that doesn't change anything. You know, I'm still coming to knock him clean out on September 8th. 
I like that, and I like that, and I'm glad he saw that, because I saw the same thing, and this is going to be a war. I looked him in his eye, I saw no bitch there, he ready to fight, he ready to go to war, and let's get it on. Okay, um, is Israel, you just had a pretty uh, intense stare down with uh, Derek as well. You guys have been going back and forth for a few weeks. What, what, where's the beef? Where did this come from? all come from? Um, so you see my memes, right? I hit him with that video yeah. on, my, on my Instagram, but he said I was a fanboy in 2015. Thing is, I seen him and I said, what's up? He ignored me way back then in 2015. So that already shows me that he, he knew who I was and knew I was a threat already way back then. And now that I'm here, I'm in his face. I saw him. He can't even control his emotions. He's just coming in here trying to flex. Don't worry, November 3rd, I will deliver. Israel, you're skinny, bro. Hey, you better lift some weights, man. You're skinny as hell. I'm not worried about you. I'm all American. You. I might be the ugly stick, but I'll whoop your ass any for day. Three rounds, any bro, single I'll day. You. Yo, check my Instagram again. I just hit him Neck with another meme. Nothing, bro. And I got him. Mean nothing. Heat coming at him. Means nothing. Hey, you built like a senior citizen. I'm not worried about you, boy. You I'm fight like a drunk you, bum. Hey, but I'm gonna change that. That's why I call that. him Derek Bumps. I'm gonna change that. I can show up to that fight, Wait. Liddy. Bro, drunk as fuck and still whoop your ass. You're skinny. You're alcoholic. You ever try a guy? You're skinny. It's over for you, bro. A glory reject. You went 0 2. Now you coming over here in the big dog. Shut the fuck I'm up. Show Short November up. 3rd. Yeah. Bring that chin on the platter and I'll clean it off as well. Bro, why are you trying to talk like Connor? You from Nigeria. What yeah, well, my why you let me look Shut up. Yeah, boy. Man. It's over for Wait you. Team. Okay. Glad okay. your fans well, believe in you. It's over for hey, you. Hey, Dustin, come here for a minute. Oh. Uh, the next question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Nate. <laughs> Nate, uh, we've been waiting your return for a very long time. Well, why did you choose this one with Dustin? Why, why did you choose to come back and take this fight with Dustin? We've been waiting a very long time to see you back. It's, uh, it's time to go, so it's time to go. Uh, my next question is for Tyron. Um, considering how much fuss was made about the interim title that Kobe will be stripped from and the robbery you two had budding, uh, are you disappointed at all that he's not the one sitting across the table from you? Uh, not at all. To be honest, when I look at matchups, Darren Till may be the toughest matchup for me in the division. Every time I face the toughest guy, I show up. When it was Carlos Conant, I showed up. When it was Robbie Lawler, I showed up. Kobe Covington got there because he won a fight and he was in position to fight for it. I didn't make a fuss about the interim belt. I was fighting him because he was the next up in line. But when I'm faced with a line that want to take my belt, it's game time. I fought my fucking life for this belt. I put everything for this belt. He want to come and get it. Everybody think they want something until they lock that octagon and he going to see. And do you have any comments on the, uh, the Kobe Trump photo op? No comment at all. I got, I got a, like I said before, I got a young line over here that's confident. He wants his belt. He think he can get it. And guess what? My focus is on that. That alone. Um, for Nate and Dustin, do you guys view your fight as like a, a semifinal that is going to get you to the Connor uh, fight next? Could be Connor. Could be. Uh, it's a championship fight right here. We're going to show up and deliver, I promise you that. This is going to be one of the most exciting fights you've ever seen. And Nate, I know you, you were just asked kind of this question, but basically is the action of this fight the thing that brought you back, or was it the money? Since my last fight, I've been in a lawsuit. So I wasn't eligible to fight. I don't know why nobody told you guys that. Who's next? Well, 
No one wants the mic. So, uh, Jimmy, you, you've been uh, wanting this fight with Glover Teixeira for a very long time. You finally got it. Like, you said you were very excited still. So tell me, how excited are you and why? Yeah, 100%. I'm excited about this fight. Um, I've been asking for this fight for ages. Um, you know, and we're two of the hardest hitters in the light heavyweight division, and we're, uh, we're going to be delivering. Thanks, um, Donald. Um, we, we heard recently that you split with uh, your, your striking coach or your former striking coach now, Brandon Gibson. Like, can you tell us what led to that and why you made that decision? No, Gibson and I are still friends, man. I just changing things up. I got to go home to Denver and put on a show with Mike Perry. And he, uh, it's not going to be any confusion. He's definitely going to meet me in the middle and throw the fuck down. I can't wait. He's, uh, he's been training with me the last fight. Uh, shit, he's going to show up and fight, and I can't wait, man. It's going to be fun. Mike, um, you know, I know you love these sort of fights. It's going to be a stand and trade brawl. Is this uh, one you're particularly looking forward to? And I guess, do you believe that Cerrone's the, the biggest name you've faced so far? Yeah, next one's always the best one. This is the next one. This is the biggest fight of my life. I think, uh, I don't know, I saw a picture of Cowboy in his gi, man. I think he's going to come out and try to take me down, make it a boring fight. But... There's no way that's gonna happen. We're gonna put on a hell of a show. He's right about that. That's why I'm just up here having fun, shook his hand, ain't nothing to it. I think Izzy and Derek are funny. You know, we up here talking some shit. And me and Cowboy ain't gotta talk shit. It's gonna be all smiles. See, people say that Cowboy does his best when he's friendly with you. And if you show it in return, he's gonna take you out. Well, I always want the best out of my opponents. And that's why I try to get in their head and get out of them. Come on, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, hell yeah. For, for, for Mike, just to piggyback off of that, uh, are there any mixed emotions since you're fairly new to Greg Jackson's camp, um, you know, establishing one of the stars that's been there for quite some time? No, nah, ain't nothing to it but to do it. This is what we do. We, uh, we went in there and sparred each other for free. And the world and the UFC want to see what happened that day. And we're going to show up and we're going to show them. Um, it's nothing to it. The best thing about Albuquerque and the camp that I got was the elevation and uh, the mitt holding. And, you know, I'm going to go back and forth between my old camp in Florida and my camp in New Mexico and uh, do what I got to do to get the W. Well, James Vick, please. Uh, James, the... Your division is getting pretty interesting right now. A lot of, lot of things sorting themselves out, matchups being made. I got to ask, I mean, I know you felt disrespected for a long time and not getting the ranking you deserved. Tell me where you think this, this win, when you get it, picks, uh, puts you in the division. Yeah, um, I, I'm not going to cry over spilt milk or anything that's happened in the past. Um, uh, in my mind, I'm a future world champion, and this is one of many main events for me. And after this, I, I got a, a couple people in mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until after August 25th, and then I, I'm, I'm going to get on the mic, and I'm going to talk some shit and call some people out. And I wanted to ask Justin as well. I mean, uh, you know, James has been in the media. He's been talking a little bit and had some things to say about you. I mean, you, you, you always bring it every time, no question about it. But I wonder if this is getting a little bit personal for you. I didn't, no. Uh, I didn't hear what the guy said. You're welcome, James. Welcome to the big show. You uh, get to fight the main event. You made it, buddy. Yeah, thank you, man. It's your last main event. You're about to be uh, on a three-fight losing streak and, and shipping your ass back to the B League to fight tomato cans again. And I'll still have more money in my bank account. I got more well, money than you right now, bro. I, I fought four times in the last year, and I won my fights. You, you lost two out of three. You fucking suck, dude. I've made fuck. more money you're in a, bonuses. You're a, you're a can you crusher. You're a can career. crusher, bro. You padded your record against B-level competition. I made two hundred thousand dollars in bonuses. You, you've been fucking. Congratulations. You haven't made that in your ten fights. Congratulations. Don't break your hand patting yourself on the ass, bro. Well, you're welcome. Thanks, guys. Anthony Smith. I want to ask you, I mean, uh, your rise has been pretty incredible to watch, and now you're up there with, you know, some of the biggest stars in the sport. Give me an idea of kind of what's going through your head and your emotions as now you're up here on the big stage and, and you got a big fight ahead of you. Uh, I mean, it's, pr it's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just, just out here doing my thing, man. I've, you know, I've been at this a long time. You know, I, I know everyone thinks I'm the new guy on the block, but i probably got more fights than everyone, uh, everyone up here, you know? So just happy to be here. I'm out here grinding, and things are coming together, and, and we got another big one. Nice. And I wanted to ask Vulcan, I mean, uh, you've been up at the top of the division. You had a very quick rise as well, but you've been kind of up at the top. I wonder, you know, was Anthony, you know, on your radar? Is this somebody that, that you were looking at at all? I think Anthony tried to look like me. He's trying to play no time. 
But um, you know, he's, he's been uh, he's been going really well. He's been doing really well at 205. He, he fought uh, to legend of the sport, but now he's facing the top of the division, and uh, I've established myself over there. Thanks, Vulcan. And, and lastly, for me, I just want to ask Glover. Uh, you know, last time out, you admitted you weren't happy with yourself, and you wanted to take maybe take some time and think about things. And, and now here you are back. It, what happened in that quickness? Hey, man, I got to get back in there, you know, and Jimmy Mano is perfect fight, you know. Uh, this is the guy that's going to brawl. This is the guy that's going to throw hands. You know, I love fights like that, and uh, going to get in there and see what happens. See what happens. That's the, that's the way I, I shake this off. Tyron, do you think Darren deserves the title shot, given the weight issues? Um, yeah, I think he deserves a title shot. He's... He's a guy that's used his mouth, used his hands, got a whole country behind him to fight. Um, does anybody really deserve a title shot anymore? I mean, there's no real rubric on, you know, if someone's going to get a title shot. If he's in the top five, he's putting on great fights, fans want to see him fight, of course he deserves a title shot. And Darren, how, how big of a concern is the weight to you? So I'm a big guy, so I, you know, I said, you know, I'm a big guy, I cut a lot of weight. Uh, last fight, you know, I, I left a lot of weight to cut late on. You know, I've always done it, and this time, you know, I, I, I had to speed bump at the end, so this time, get me weight lower uh, earlier on, and then, you know, the weight cuts will be easier the, the week out. So, that's, that's what's happening. Great, thank you, Dana. Can, <laughs> thank you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Dana, how excited are you about uh, making Poirier Diaz? Uh, we made the fight. I mean, obviously, it's a great fight. Stylistically, it's an incredible fight. Um, it's good to have Nate back, and, and we're happy about it. I'm happy about it. I have a question for James. Are you gonna run like a bitch the whole time, or are you gonna stand there and fight me for these people? Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not the Homer Simpson of, bar of MMA like you are, bro. I'm not gonna take a beating, but you will get knocked the fuck out. You take, you take ten significant strikes per minute. That's fifty shots around that you're. You ain't lasting. You ain't lasting three rounds of me <laughs> taking all that beating like that. You're so twenty nine years yes old and you're not. You're twenty nine years old and you're punch drunk and, and, and slurring when you talk, bro. So. Um, I yeah, you're getting knocked out. No, I'm not going to stand like a retard and, 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 fight, and fight the so You're going to run like a bitch. But you are going to get know. slept. You're going to get knocked out within three rounds for sure. We have any more questions? Just one last one for Nate Diaz. Nate, you, you got this Dustin fight now, but is it fair to say you, you still want that trilogy with Connor? I already won one twice, so I ain't worried about it. That's it? No more questions? We have one more thing we want to show you. What happened between you and Artem Lobov, Khabib? Nothing. You know what it's like being a part of a team. You are in it together. If one of us go to war, we all go to war. Conor McGregor sees an incident between a buddy of his, Artem, getting into it with Khabib. And now all hell is breaking loose. You wanna fight? Come here and that's it. Just tell me where. Why you need to come here? We have to finish this. Let's go. I am ready for this. I am ready for this. Tell him I'm coming! Oh! Be careful what you ask for. That's it! Run the fight! Wow! Nothing short of spectacular. The hype behind this contest is insane. It will be the biggest fight in history. He's a devastating striker. He is outstanding. Oh, he got tagged hard. Two destroyers, two outstanding fighters. This is the fight that everybody wants to see. It will be massive. Surprise, surprise, the king is back. Sorry, John Morgan, I lied a little bit. They're not here, unfortunately. Uh, I know. But the fight is done. October, Las Vegas. It's on, ladies and gentlemen.
Thank you for coming out today, LA. We'll get the uh, weigh-ins going here soon. Somebody might die. TJ stole everything from me. It's an idea that I don't think about getting my world title back. I just can't get you out of my head. I came off the couch and dropped your ass. Oh, yeah. I'm Cody was just trying to get in my head, and it just kind of pumped me up even more. Me and Cody have had some bad blood. Nothing's changed. I want to run it back. This is one for the ages. TJ Dillashaw. Where are you at? I'm gonna be the champion. That's my bell. This is why I do it. Come on. Oh! My eyes is on the prize. I wanna fight for the title. It's on, let's go. Next time we step in Octagon. Break it! I just can't.